I wanted to talk about a knife that is extremely rare to me. I don't know much about it. I'll tell you the story behind it. I want to thank you for subscribing and uh, I hope you'll like this video. You've liked so many of our others. This is what it looks like. It, uh, it's from the Philippines. I'll tell you that so that you, you get a sense of the, uh, the, I don't know what to call it, the tribal nature of it, the, the uh, very basic nature of it. A friend of mine back in the 1980s was stationed in the Philippines and he ended up giving this to me and I was fascinated simply because of <clears throat> it's a unique knife and something I've never seen before or anything like that. And so you can see that it has some kind of uh, rough woven cloth covering it. The, the sheath is actually wood. It is a wooden sheath covered in cloth with a, a rope, rough rope tied around it to, to hold it or carry it in some way. The handle is wood also with the same cloth woven around it and uh, it certainly looks like it's been used and not by me. Um, it's frayed on the edges and and uh, the blade comes very close to looking like it's just hand forged um, specifically because of uh, this little uh, I don't know what you call that. Um, looks like it's hand forged, but I want you to notice something. This is what it has intrigued me forever. This is the cutting edge right here. It's not particularly sharp. I wasn't about to sharpen it. This is the cutting edge. And so you see the hand, the, you have to hold it in your hand this way for the cutting edge to be down like we're normally used to. And that, that does not work. It just hits you in the wrist. And there's no way that I can see that that works. The only way that this handle is comfortable is in this position and with the blade up, with the edge up, I should say. And the back of the blade is down. And uh, if it was sharpened in reverse, it would make a great little sickle or something like that. It would be, uh, it makes sense for a, a small machete or something. But with the edge up, I don't know how you're supposed to use that. It... Um, there must be some technique that is that it's used for. There must be something, um, some purpose for that because the handle is fairly comfortable, just like this. But the the friend that gave it to me, it was just important that it came from him. Uh, the fact that he had been in fin uh, the Philippines and I think uh, from Mindanao, this may have come. But uh, I have searched. I don't know anything about it. Um, trying to find out something about it. If you know something about it, I would love to hear from you. It fits in here and it's very loose. It just wobbles around and um, I don't know exactly how it was meant to be carried. A little short for a belt, it seems like, but um, maybe over the shoulder or I don't know, uh, rope to, uh, tied to something else that somebody's wearing. I don't know. You can see the end of the the sheath that's been frayed and you can see the wood inside there but a real treasure to me just to, because it's unique and because a friend gave it to me and it's exotic came from another land and uh, I just wanted to share with that with you today if you know anything about it feel free to let us know thanks for subscribing